Hi there! My name is Tracy Adams. I'm the founder of Daily Dose of Tracy as well as um, Team Daily Dose of Fuel, affectionately known as Team Fuel. And I am on a personal mission to show other busy people like myself that you can still eat healthy and take good care of yourself even in this super fast-paced world. So I just thought I would hop on here this morning and share with you what my meal plan is for the day. Um, when trying to lose weight or live a healthier lifestyle, the number one thing that you have to remember is if you're not planning for success, then you're planning to fail. So, and abs are absolutely made in the kitchen. Um, you know, 80 to 90% of what we do uh, to lose weight or maintain a healthy weight is make good food choices. And you can't really do that if you don't plan ahead. So for me, my day to do this is on either Saturday morning or Sunday. Um, my husband's a foodie and he cooks a lot on the weekends. And so a lot of times Saturday mornings, he'll get up and he'll pull out some of his cookbooks and start perusing, which it means I gotta run and get my meal plan calendar. I'll show it to you. So I have a weekly meal plan um, notebook and like this is our plan for this week and then I made my grocery list on the other side and that way you have your meal plans that you've used in the past that you can kind of go back and look at if you're feel like you're in a dry spell or you're just not you're just you're like what are we gonna eat then you can go back and look and see like what did we have that people really liked um, so that's when I do it I, I work with him and um, we figure out okay like will this be a good leftover because some foods just don't taste as good leftover like I don't really care for um, leftover meat except for chicken and typically I don't even heat it up I'll eat it leftover cold um, so uh, for dinner tonight we initially I was gonna pull out um, this frozen dish that he made a couple weeks ago that we had a ton of so we froze some of it, it was mustard greens and turkey but we still have so many leftovers uh, from Monday night and this weekend that tonight's gonna be leftovers. Um, for breakfast, which I just had, I made um, a smoothie. I used yogurt with some fresh strawberries and half a banana and then some chia seeds. And I am following, I use the portion fix program to figure out how much of everything I'm supposed to eat every day. So I used a red container, this is a protein. I used a red container of plain Greek yogurt. I had just enough strawberries to fill up one cup of fruit. And then half a banana is, half a medium banana is a serving of fruit as well. And so I added half a banana to my smoothie. And then I used an orange little container, which this is for your seeds and dressings. I added um, chia seeds to this and I blended it up and sucked it down. So that was my breakfast. Um, when I get hungry again, I'll have a snack and I will have two hard boiled eggs. I um, hard boiled them the other day, so all I'll have to do is pull it out, pull them out, peel them, and I'm good to go. I'll put a little bit of Himalayan salt on there and um, that'll be a good snack for me. For lunch, and typically, probably three days a week, I'll have a Shakeology for lunch that I doctor up quite a bit and have it like as my meal. Um, hello clock. Um, because it's fast, it's something that I can do while I'm sitting at my desk working. Um, and then other days, if I decide to have a salad or something, then I'll use that time to watch like some YouTube videos or some trainings that I need to do. Um, that way I can still use my time because I'm a busy girl and I like to use my time wisely. Um, so my Shakeology today, which is equivalent, a scoop of Shakeology is equivalent to a red. And I'm supposed to have four reds a day. So now I'm up to three. The Shakeology will be my third red. Um, I will have that with some cashew milk. And cashew milk is equivalent to a carb. So one yellow container. I will add one teaspoon of peanut butter. Um, I buy organic non-GMO peanut butter. I don't know if you know this, but peanut butter or peanuts are one of the highest GMO foods in the United States. So. If you're not a fan of GMO, then buy non-GMO peanut butter. I don't love almond milk butter. For some reason, there's something about it, I just don't like it. Um, and then I'm going to add two green containers of spinach to my Shakeology. Um, can't taste it. If you blend it enough, you don't even know it's there. 
It's an easy way to get in some extra leafy greens. And so that's what I'm doing there. And that will take me through to dinner. And so come dinner time, I will have a red, a yellow, a green, and a blue left over. And the blue is your healthy fats. So for dinner, I'm gonna have some leftover um, baked potatoes. They're like the little potatoes. Um, I did a roast the other day. So I'll fill a yellow container with um, potatoes. I will have this much um, leftover pork roast and I will have some um, roasted vegetables that I had um, in the with the pork roast the other night. And then I'll probably just have some cheese on the side um, as my healthy fat. You have to get your healthy fats in every day. Um, you, your body needs fat, your brain needs fat, um, your body needs fat to process fat soluble uh, vitamins. So, um, low fat is no longer in it's no longer the chic thing but you don't want to have too much fat either so but i love cheese and so it certainly isn't going to be a problem for me to have a piece some cheese with my dinner and so that is what i'm going to have for today um i forgot to mention i did have a recovery drink um, after i worked out this morning but the beach body performance recovery drinks um it's such targeted nutrition that it does you don't even have to count it as one of your containers it's not considered like a part of your um caloric intake for the day so that's what a day looks like for me and i would not be able to pull all of this together if i didn't do that planning on the weekends like i do and making sure that i have in my refrigerator what i need um so Anyways, if you have any questions, um, you can reach me on Facebook. Um, on Facebook, I'm my like page is Daily Dose of Tracy, and my personal page is under Tracy Chapin Adams, or you can always comment below this video. Um, I hope you have a blessed day, and um, this is your Daily Dose of Tracy, and I am going to say goodbye here. Have a good one.